What is up, YouTube? It's Kingfisher745. And in this video, we're going to actually play a new game called Obliteracers. Well, it's something we've never covered before. Let's put it that way. Now, when I first saw this game, I immediately thought of Mario Kart. Now, I've been a huge Mario Kart fan, dating all the way back to the N64. I mean, who doesn't like Mario Kart, really? I think everyone has fun when playing a game like that. So when I saw a game with some goofy characters, some funny looking carts, and of course weapons that you could pick up, it really piqued my interest. So I ended up getting a copy. This was back in the summer, I believe, so it's been a while. And I always meant to make a video on it. Unfortunately, some different things came up and it kind of slipped my mind. But since I found this footage available on an external hard drive, and you all know what's going on with my PC being out of commission, I figured let's go ahead and post a video on it. So just to let you know, I was going to be using an Xbox One controller while playing it. It does have controller support. And we're just going to jump right into the story or campaign, whatever you want to call it. But the single player mode just to learn the game. Now I think this game would be absolutely wild with any sort of multiplayer. I would love to play with anyone that has it, but I'm sure that many of you probably haven't heard of it yet. Still, if it looks interesting enough to you, go ahead and check it out. You may really enjoy it. I'm actually the character named Sarge, and he's actually the number one car over there on the far right. So let's see if we can figure out how to control this and how to win. Of course, during your first race, they're going to give you plenty of hints on how to play, what to do exactly. And so we're just kind of looking at all those options. Then finally, they're going to tell us exactly what to press to accelerate, fire, and so on. I'm really not too worried about the advanced techniques. Let's just try to win this race just normally. Okay, and we're getting kind of banged around. I don't know exactly what these weapons do, but the first one, I think we kind of took someone out. Now we have a huge missile. Of course, we can't fire it until they're in front of us, but... That would be a pretty good time. And we cause another collision. Actually, they both went down, so we end up winning. Now check out Sarge. Pretty awesome graphics. I really do like the style. Now I don't think that's too big of an achievement, winning our first race. I assume they're going to get much harder, but still. We are learning. And now we have some sort of... I don't know if it's a mortar. No, apparently it was something else and we dropped out of the race. That's pretty unfortunate. So I believe there's two ways to lose. Basically you drop behind and you fall off the map, or off the screen I should say, and you're out. Or you can get blown up and just totaled. I wish we could have said we were flawless, but we did lose that round. So let's go ahead here one more time. And, well I don't know what our weapon is this time either, and we fall off the map. So fantastic. At least you don't have to watch the race continue. You can just go ahead and go on to the next time. This time, we're not falling behind like that. Not if we can help it. We didn't get a weapon, though. Come on. Now, that used to drive me crazy on Mario Kart. It's definitely going to bother me here as well. Okay, we finally got one. We're almost behind too far, though. But we have a missile launcher. Oh, come on. We were wrecking that guy. We got totally gypped by Nipper, apparently. Third time's a charm, so let's go ahead and do this again. Right, this time, we're kind of out in front. Now we're in last. And uh, I feel like we wasted that, so let's try and grab something better. This looks like some kind of laser... targeting system cannon of some sort. But we can't fire because we're in first place. We're going to avoid getting shot by this guy. He has the same exact thing. So just, there we go. We'll drop behind and then, okay, we drop behind way too much. Now I'm a little worried. Come on. We've got to catch Nipper. I'm so tired of Nipper. Get up there. I knew we had to be close with that one. We blew it, I think. Or we have another charge. And we didn't get another weapon. Fantastic. Oh, no. We both fell off. No survivors. Is this the hardest race of all time or what? No, I'm just playing terrible. 
If I lose one more time, I'm gonna retire from video games. Okay. Got one of those, I think, close things again. I don't know if we helped take him out, but I feel like we did. Now I want that shark missile, but still, we got a gun. You're kidding me. Forget what I said, guys. I can't quit games. Usually I try to keep my word. I, sh I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so, alright, now we finally got this heavy-duty missile. We're going to definitely hit somebody. I think we wrecked that guy. I don't know. I feel like we did. And we're out in first place as well. This thing actually shoots flames out the side of it. So if I get someone up equal with me, I can pretty much set them on fire. Or I can just try to outpace everyone and just win that way. Now that's how we should do it. Total victory. Would you guys doubt me? Come on. Wait a second. Okay, I thought it was like the same race or something. I'm slightly confused, but apparently we I think we moved on. I, re I honestly feel really slow right now. Uh, I believe we're just doing the same race over and over again. And as you can see, there's like a green meter with my name. I think we need to get that filled. And then we actually win the full thing. So it's not just a one-time winner and you're done. It's win a bunch of races or finish strong or however it goes. And then we can move on. I don't know how many it's going to take, but hopefully we can win this one as well. Alright, perfectly placed mine gets us another win. I think we're maybe one away now. So back to it. See what throws me off is I think they're starting us in different places. But that it's the same map, I think. Alright, three contestants left. We have mine, so we have to get in front of them to place them. Unless we just want to waste them. And this guy quit shooting. Come on. What a cheater. I feel like I had a really slow start in this game, but once I catch you on, I'm going to be a master. Watch. Because this game is as fun as I thought it was. I mean, it's very similar to Mario Kart. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's differences, but as far as picking up weapons... You no, know, kind of the race style, bumping characters. I think there's even like a power drift and stuff that I just haven't really learned yet. So with my award, the champion Sarge, that's me. I gladly didn't get biggest noob. But I didn't get most hostile or weapon collector either. That's fine, we got the victory. So we earned three bombs. Sounds good to me. Now I have to say, I was definitely having fun even in single player. Well, like I was thinking, in multiplayer, especially with friends or people you know, this game's going to be an absolute laugh riot. I can tell you right now, just even with my brother, we'd be cracking up. It'd be like the funniest thing. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing this again. If anyone does have this or ends up getting it, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to play it with some viewers as well. It does unfortunately cost money, though it's not free. So that's just a warning, but I do think it's worth it myself. Now, as far as the other videos, I want to talk about that just briefly here. There's going to be more Marvel Heroes walkthrough with Angela. I just really hated the lag that was happening on my laptop, so I'm trying to figure out a better way to record. And then just give a timeline on my PC project. I actually think I'm going to get it done faster than I even thought. Like, I picked up a power supply, which I may have mentioned before. So I have that. I have a few other parts. And very soon, like within a week or so, I'm probably going to be able to get the rest of the parts I need. So once that's done, I'll be able to start putting it together and you know, we'll be good to go after that. So I really don't think it's going to take that much longer. I'm definitely thinking like the first week of November. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. And hopefully I'll be able to record some of me opening the parts and maybe putting them together too. Just like I mentioned. Besides that... I really want to get a room tour video and some other collection unboxing type videos also. So I'm going to be working on those like I said before. And I do think it's actually going to happen this time. So I'm looking forward to it and I hope that you all enjoy it when I do post it. There were also a few questions about Marvel Ventures Alliance. And I did have some extra footage that I wanted to do just a few last videos on. But that was on my old computer, so it only depends on if that hard drive's able to be recovered or not. If it's not, then it's gone, unfortunately. 
we'll see what happens with it, but you know, there's going to be a lot to come either way. Once I get that new PC or the rebuilt one, however you want to put it, with that, all the Marvel and DC games I plan on playing and DC Comics Legends, I know we're going to have a ton of new content. We'll probably even draw in some new viewers and hopefully some subscribers to replace the ones we've lost. I've honestly been looking at a lot of old games I have because I really do love retro gaming too. So I'm thinking of doing Marvel and DC games going back in past console generations. It really could make for some awesome entertaining videos. So just stay tuned, I'm going to pump out videos as fast as I can, which is slow right now admittedly, but once again, I know we'll be back to like 4 or 5 a week, no problem. So we're going to have a full week of videos before you know it. And I'm thinking, you know, in early November, we should be fully back. So not too much longer. As for Obliteracers, like I said, I'm going to play some multiplayer. We're going to probably do like the best of, you know, like funny moments and things like that. That's probably the best use for a game like this. Just kind of editing out some of the best moments, best races, and so on. And certainly, with multiplayer, we're going to have a lot of those events. I'll even try to get some friends, and maybe even some of you, if you do end up getting the game or you already have it. And that should make for a great time as well. In the future, I plan on doing a lot more with subs, a lot more with streaming, and just more interactive content in general. So stay on the lookout for that. And like I said, I'm trying my best to get back in the full swing of things. I do want to thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching, for sticking with me. And if you can, please like, comment, and subscribe. But until next time, good luck and take care.